Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Tina. So today I am doing your upcoming weekly tarot. This one will be for roughly December 14th through the 20th. Now I do say roughly because I find that time is a bit more fluid with these readings. And the most important thing for me is that the reading resonates. And if it does, please just trust that it's for you. All right, I'm going to give these a few shuffles here and let's see what's happening for you, Taurus. December 14th through the 20th. There is a solar eclipse in Sagittarius. And for you, this will affect your earned income. So new beginnings in the way you earn income. All right, let's give these a few more shuffles. Two more. We're going to stop here. Okay, that's the situation for you this week. No, 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 no. This is the situation for Taurus. Okay. What might be a challenge for you? All right. Where's your mind at? What are you focused on? Your approach. Any external influences or people. And then the near future, what is coming towards you? All right. It can be a bit of a testing week. Let me say that. Things are changing. I think you're being really flexible. I think you're being really adaptable with that two of pentacles at the bottom. The reason I say it's a testing week because the situation is the nine of wands. This is just saying that like, while you feel like throwing in the towel and there's something about this week that's just exhausting you. There is a situation that's like on your spirit. You're just like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm still dealing with this. You know, it has your guards up. It has you a bit defensive with that nine of wands. I am going to go in, of course, pull more cards so we can get a deeper understanding. But this is just you standing strong. Life's throwing a test at you this week and you are standing strong. Though tired, wounded warrior is a nine of wands. So tired you are persevering it's really a card of perseverance all right what might be a challenge for you we do have justice here justice for me is a card of course about karma all right so it's really just like connecting the dots it's just seeing like how our choices have shaped our lives right it's cause and effect so it's even taking accountability it's taking responsibility it's that kind of energy but i love it because even though you might be like oh i see the part that i played it's such a powerful move because you also, while if you feel like you're the problem, you also know that you're the solution. And so that's what I love about justice is saying, I can create my own destiny here because I can see how my choices have shaped my life. So justice is a very powerful energy for me. And I love to see it because it just, you know, justice, the wheel of fortune and the tower for me are just elements that are out of our control. It's just, this is how things are turning. Your mind, what you're focused on, you got something new here. There's something here that's got you very curious, kind of even excited here. You're starting to see potential and opportunity in a place maybe where you hadn't seen it before for some of you with the Page of Wands. But this is very open, very curious, and certainly looking to a new direction here. Your approach is the hangman. All right, this is like surrendering, maybe for some of you surrendering to the flow of life, but the hangman is like in a state of like unsure what to do right now. And so you're kind of just like hanging there Hang in there, gaining enlightenment. You're starting to see the same situation, probably with a new perspective here with the hangman. You know, it's a card about surrendering, surrendering control as well. In the environment, we have the Knight of Cups. It's a very sweet energy. This is a very open-hearted, playful energy. It can absolutely be a, a water sign here, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. They can be younger with the Knight of Cups energy. They don't have to like actually be younger but they just have that youthful kind of energy and then coming towards you Taurus I love it the ace of cups it's one of my favorite cards something that's really going to make your heart feel so happy so open um, you know it's just love is flowing creativity can be flowing with the ace of cups it's just like opening your heart completely all right let's see what this nine of wands is about let's start with the situation this week what is testing you we have a two of cups here at the bottom it can be a relationship let's see What's this Nine of Wands about? What is the situation here that's just got you like, whew? Let's see. All right, one more and then let's stop here. All right, clarifying the Nine of Wands, we get the Lovers, the Two of Swords. All right, yeah, feeling like you're at this crossroads. Yeah, there's a situation here that, again, I just feel like, you want to throw in the towel it's exhausting you um and you're i just feel like there's 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 you're going in this new direction the lovers is a card about following your heart here and the two of swords is also these are both cards about like crossroads you know we have two swords here we have two people here and so there is a change of direction here 
choosing a new path, one that means following your heart here, following your heart here. And it, it just has you feeling like a little stuck. How do I choose a path here? Yeah, but there's something about following your heart and you just kind of standing before that, those two paths, those two options that you have right now. It's like for me with the two of swords, it's like it's old life and new life, right? It's old path and new path. And so right now you're just persevering. It's taking a lot from you and you're just, you're, I mean, again, we had that two of pentacles, I think. Yeah, you're flowing with the changes and sometimes that flow is not so easy. Sometimes it's a little bit more challenging and this week it just could be a little bit more challenging. But, you know, there is a major decision here about following your heart, following your heart. And I think it's going to put you on a whole new path. And I feel like that path is on your mind anyway. Let's see what justice is about in the challenge position. What is justice? For me, justice is like making those. Yeah. Psh, another two. Two of wands. Yeah. Three of cups here. You know, with the three of cups here as well, these are like people in your support system. This is your tribe here. And so I feel like you might just, I think you're just changing direction. Some of you could be from your tribe as well. Um, there could be a decision here about just change. I feel like there's a big decision and it's, it's going to put you on a whole new path. It's just repeated over and over and over again. Um, but for some of you, for some reason, there's something with the support team, like the, the people in your tribe. The ones that you like usually celebrate with that is also in the challenge position for some reason. You have to, of course, make those connections. I can only say what the energies of the cards are, but yeah, you're, you're certainly, um, and you know, with the two of wands, this is a card about making plans to change direction. And really for some of you, it is stepping totally out of your comfort zone. And that can be why it's a little bit uncomfortable here. It's just probably different from what you're used to as well. Um, but you know, I just see direction change everywhere. Two of swords, the lovers, page of wands, two of wands. And yeah, it just might be hard for you to change this direction. Again, there's something with the people around you. I feel like that's a little connected to it. Maybe it's very different because, you know, the two of wands does really kind of step out of your comfort zone. And so it just might be a little bit different. Maybe you won't be able to hang out and celebrate as much, right? And, and while you do something here. But either way, it's about taking your power back with that two of wands and justice, you know, like I said, when it comes to accountability and it comes to responsibility in our lives, it's really a way of taking the power back. It's saying I'm in control here. All right. Page of wands where your mind is at. It's very open. It's very curious energy when it comes to some new direction. Tell me more about the page of wands. Let's see. And it could be something, again, that I feel like you're starting to see the potential of going somewhere new. Because um, there's a situation here that's just, it's very taxing. It's kind of heavy spiritually. And it's starting to weigh you down, really. All right, a few more. Let's see what this page of wands is about. Okay, I'll take you and stop here. The four of wands and the three of pentacles. Yeah, you're, you've got something that you're trying to achieve here. You're definitely considering working together and building something together here. The Four of Wands is like security, it's stability, it's a, it's a strong foundation. Also a card of celebration like that Three of Cups. But why the Four of Wands is a card of celebration? It's because you reach a milestone and there's a milestone that you want to reach. It's hard work paying off. That's why you stop to celebrate. You know, the Four of Wands can represent marriage, but that is hard work paying off, right? That's, that's after having dated after having been vulnerable, after having shared things, after having compromised, right? After all this work, you're in this place like a marriage that you can celebrate because it's paid off. Um, and so I just feel like there's a milestone here that's just very much on your mind that you want to achieve here. It can absolutely be a foundation that's very strong and sturdy and secure, but you're definitely with your mind. You're looking in a new direction. It's about collaborating. It's certainly, it's about building something together here. And it could be something that is like a milestone very much on your mind, very positive mindset as well. Very positive mindset. It's on potential and it's on growth and it's on possibility. All right, in your approach, we have this hanged man. So let's see. What's this hanged man about? Because I just feel like, again, it's just feeling a little stuck with this direction change. And maybe with the hanged man, you're like, okay, I can't see a clear answer. So the, like the hanged man, 
you're just like, fine, let me just hang out here for a moment. Let me just relax. Let me suspend myself here. And I'm gonna just relax and take a look at the situation in a relaxed way, maybe from a new angle here. So this is you like not forcing anything. The hangman is perfect for this energy. So tell me about the hangman in your approach. It's changing perspective. It's not forcing anything. It's flowing for sure with the hangman. Yeah. All right, two more. To clarify this hangman, we're going to stop here. Strength is at the bottom. Three of swords, ace of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like... You know, with the Three of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles, again, I just feel like a situation here has been very taxing and it's just starting to get very heavy. And it could have definitely, with the Nine of Wands, been a situation that used to make you so happy, you used to be so passionate about. But now, you know, with the Hangman, the Three of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles, it's like, I feel like you're going from this place of, like, heartbreak with something, some past pain, there's some heartbreak here, right? And the Hangman has changed perspective. And now to what? to the Ace of Pentacles, to some new reality for yourself. The Ace of Pentacles, you can very much have a job on your mind with the Ace of Pentacles, but this for me is a new chance to manifest something in your life, physical, that you can actually see and measure in your life with the Ace of Pentacles. And so you're going from heartbreak to opportunity here. This is the changed perspective here. If something didn't turn out the way you'd hoped. I feel like your perspective on that is shifting. Again, I'm, I'm feeling like now you're starting to see opportunity where maybe you hadn't seen it before. Maybe before you couldn't see it and you just felt like there was nothing here. There was nothing that can grow or develop here. Because the Page of Wands is in like this kind of desert barren landscape where you don't really think there's potential there. But yet they're holding this sprouting wand, right? And so now they're like, wait, I think I can. So I just feel like your whole perspective is shifting. It may not be there this week, but it is undergoing shift this week, absolutely. And you're going again from just feeling like heartbreak over how something had turned out into opportunity. I really feel like you're taking your power back slowly, but surely this week. All right, Knight of Cups in your environment. It's a very sweet, playful energy. So let's see, tell us more about the Knight of Cups. And it took a lot of strength in you to change this perspective, to see things a bit differently. All right, tell me about the Knight of Cups. I think you're, not, you're now starting to see opportunity. What's this Knight of Cups in the environment? Again, it can be a water sign, but it's, it's a sweet, playful energy. In the environment. Two more. Stop here. Queen of Cups and Temperance. All right, we got another more water, so... You can definitely have some somebody with like a water sign in your environment. There is a Sagittarius as well, but beautiful, balanced energy, you guys. I just feel like if there were extremes in the environment, I feel like now you're just being really balanced. I feel like there's so much maturity. There's You're using your intuition here um, with temperance. You're taking no extremes. It's like you're having this balancing effect so nothing feels totally out of order, totally extreme here. And because you know it's the right way. I love temperance. There's a balancing effect. There's a patient element. It's also a deeper understanding. That's why you are taking that approach. Temperance is absolutely a deeper understanding because you've been through so much. You've been through strength, right? You've been through the hangman. And like now you're like, I kind of have a deeper understanding here. And I know that's not the way. So let's find a middle ground. Let's find a healthier way to do this. And so it just feels like a very healthy approach in your environment. And again, you could be dealing with a water sign or even a Sagittarius coming towards you. Beautiful Ace of Cups. Ah, let's clarify this Ace of Cups. King of Cups at the bottom. We have a um, power couple, King, Queen of Cups. Tell me about this Ace of Cups coming towards Taurus. December 14th. We have Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Cups. I'm telling you, new beginnings are here. But of course, usually we see the endings first. But I, I feel like your whole perspective on that is shifting. Where, where you may have seen an ending, I feel like now you're starting to see a beginning. Um, all right, clarifying this Ace of Cups, what fell out? The Magician, ooh, King of Wands, beautiful energy. Yeah, the Magician, I feel like something is just gonna come through that's gonna make your heart so happy, Taurus. And with the Magician, just like this Ace of Pentacles, this is about manifesting something, right? 
Who's the best manifester in town? It's the magician. It's literally creating magic. It's literally taking an idea and bringing it to life. And you're in this place where with the magician energy, I just feel like you're like, okay, I know exactly what I want and I know exactly what I need to have it. I have everything I need to create this. The magician is a powerful energy, very powerful. King of Wands, I feel like you're taking the lead as well. He is a natural born leader, the King of Wands. He can get people behind him. He's easy to get people to support him. Beautiful energy. It's a think outside of the box type of energy as well, but really happy, beautiful energy. You know, the magician is master manifester. And I feel like that's the energy you're stepping into. Ready to really bring something to life here. Something's gonna make your heart so happy. It can be a creative project as well for some of you. The Ace of Cups doesn't matter. It's something a heart's desire come to life. You're ready to bring some heart's desire to life. Okay, I will leave it there for you, Taurus. I really do hope you enjoy this reading. Um, if you did, please comment, like, and subscribe. As always, thank you so much for letting me tune into your energies, and I'll see you all next week.